Hi there, and welcome to the Arkansas E-Traveler. I'm Landon. Well, it happened. I didn't think it would happen so soon, but it's happened. We have found a Walmart Energy sleeper site. Yes, we have a site that's ready to open, and we missed it entirely in permitting and in construction. Get ready, folks. This is the new normal. Stick around. All right, so it's a very exciting update here as uh, we have found this sleeper site thanks to the Walmart Energy landing page. And uh, I'm excited to share the details with you and what it means for the project as a whole. If you find this interesting, I encourage you, please hit subscribe because this is not the only sleeper site out there. I promise you that. They are all over the place. We have verbal confirmation that they're all over the place. We just have to go through the process of finding them. So if you want to be a part of that journey and keep up with what Walmart Energy may be doing near you, go ahead and click subscribe. I promise it'll be worth your time. Thank you. So what happened? Well, Walmart happened. We know their presence across the United States is vast and it is very, very robust. But that also includes very rural communities. And from one city to the next, you may encounter many rural communities. That is what is happening in Oklahoma. But what makes the rural communities different from the cities in our case is permit spotting. See, the larger cities and their suburbs typically have an online database that we can access, especially through the talents of Alejandro EV66. Uh, and we're able to find permits well in advance of construction, even beginning. But for smaller communities, these databases don't necessarily exist, or if they do, they may not be accessible. That's what's happened here in Chakota, Oklahoma. Now, that should be a familiar name for those who have watched this channel before. Uh, I've stopped and done a little bit of a review at the Pilot Flying J there. Chakota, Oklahoma is the hometown of Carrie Underwood. So while it is a small community for EV enthusiasts and music enthusiasts, I suppose, it does carry a little bit of gravity to it. But it's just the tip of the iceberg. And to show you this, we're going to do a little bit of a site visit here thanks to Leonard, who uh, is a friend of the channel. Uh, you may recognize him from uh, the chats and comments from Coast to Coast EVs, but he's a very active presence uh, over in central to northeast Oklahoma. So let's go out to Leonard to see what's going on in Dakota. Landon and crew, I got a big scoop for you here. So here are the chargers. I just spoke with the, the crew who was installing them, and this is not the only site that we're gonna see here in Oklahoma. In fact, they're getting ready to work on a site in McAllister here soon, the same crew. Um, and But for now, let's take a look at this site. It's definitely here. Um, looks like we got a CCS and a NAX connector for each one of the chargers. There's one, two, three, four. Uh, four chargers, of course, I think these can charge two cars at the same time, I forget how they, uh, provision them, but they will be going live next week. So we already have power at the site. It's just a matter of provisioning the chargers. So they are pretty much ready to go. Crew is real excited. There's going to be doing a whole bunch of building um, in this area. Tons of them in Oklahoma. I heard a huge number um, for how many of these chargers we're going to get. But for now, just wanted to show you guys the chargers are here. They are installed. They should be going live next week, and we're here at the Walmart here in Chicota. As you can tell, like I said, we've got power. We've got a meter with the uh, meter head there. So we should be good to go for next week for people to be able to use these chargers. So I'm pretty excited for this build to continue. Um, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this update. Thank you. So thank you so much to Leonard for that update. It's extremely beneficial to us as we try to figure out what's going on with this site that uh, just popped up out of nowhere for us, thanks to Walmart Energy's landing page on their website. Uh, basically on Thursday night, this popped up. I was uh, recording a podcast with some friends that will come out later, and basically this <laughs> changes quite a bit of what I've said in that podcast. Um, it confirms some things. It moves up some timelines that I mentioned, and that's all exciting news. Um, so the first thing that we want to know about this is what's the makeup here. It's four Alpitronic hyperchargers, each with one CCS and one NAX 
creating eight stalls total. This is located at Supercenter 340, again in Chicota, Oklahoma. It is immediately across US 69 from the Pilot Flying J. Uh, which is just north of I-40. So it's at a crossroads between uh, one of the most heavily traveled interstates in America and US-69 that connects um, Dallas-Fort Worth to Oklahoma. Parts, you know, just runs just east of Tulsa. So uh, it's a very significant place, and both Pilot Flying J and Walmart seem to agree with that. A couple of other things that he mentioned... Looks like it's ready to go, and Walmart concurs that is, as it is listed as coming soon now on their website, and uh, that's good to hear. Uh, the date that I received later on was that this would be put into commission on July 29th. Uh, that is a little bit later than next week, but uh, that could be for a hard launch. Soft launch may happen this week. Uh, with this site so who knows also you may notice it looks like to me they have done the rebranding that walmart's going through with these chargers because that is a much deeper powder coated blue on those alpitronic hyperchargers uh and that walmart logo on the top that's the new one that's not the old one i don't see a spark logo on them so uh but that was a modest change in the rebranding anyway so uh, it looks like Walmart's keeping up with company goals here as well uh, with uh, the rebranding here. Uh, so that's kind of fun to see. Uh, a couple of other things that he mentioned. The next location they're going to is McAllister. And if you look on the map, that is immediately south of Chicota, And it is along US 69 as well. The only other, it may not be the only, but the most prominent DC fast charger in McAllister that I'm aware of is on the uh, west side of town, away from US-69, and it's a Francis Energy unit uh, that does not get the greatest of reviews. So this is very, very welcomed in McAllister. So now, uh, thinking for people from Northwest Arkansas, Tulsa, who are trying to get to DFW, just like I did back in February, uh, this... Uh, route just got a major upgrade. So these rural areas through uh, East Oklahoma suddenly have a lot more viability to them for EV chargers. They were already pretty passable, but this creates a lot of comfort and reassurance and reduces anxiety for range. Uh, something else that he said besides McAllister, he said that he heard a massive number heading to Oklahoma. Bring it on. Uh, Oklahoma being uh, a fairly, uh, fairly rural state, it is good to hear that Walmart is going to invest in these particular places. But remember, that's going to be hard to track because the rural communities, um, their databases for permitting and, and construction, they're just not what the big cities are. And that's nobody's fault. It's just the reality of, of what they need. So this is where folks at home come in handy. This is where you are very, very important in uh, sharing what you find um, and making sure that the masses know about it. Because, again, this just popped up out of nowhere. Um, and that's that's one way of doing it. Sleeper sites are always fun, but it's also nice to, you know, inform people and, and let the anticipation build. So good things coming from Oklahoma. We're excited to hear that this state looks to be getting quite the build out from Walmart Energy, from Corner to Panhandle. Just be paying attention. Um, I've heard whispers of construction in other locations and uh, would like to uh, see that become confirmed in the coming weeks. So now let's go to permitting. All right, Supercenter 2980 in Fort Worth. This is the one that I accidentally left off of the last update because I was trying to get it done while in a house with 12 other people, uh, four of which were under the age of six. So <laughs> it was a great family outing, though. Really enjoyed it. So this one is at 8520 North Beach Street in northern Fort Worth, where they will be installing EV chargers in a commercial parking lot. This looks very similar to all the permits that we've seen so far coming out of DFW. 
Next, let's go to a new state. Kalispell, Montana. So this is not a permit. This is a line from the minutes of a city council meeting entitled Walmart EV Charging Stations. The committee reviewed plans to add EV charging stations to the parking lot and did not have any issues. Again, I think this is probably Walmart Energy. Uh, I don't see Walmart adding EV goes or EAs anymore, uh, but again, not kicking them off. But in this case, at Super Center 2259, I definitely believe this is Walmart uh, Energy. There are only 16 Super Centers in the state of Montana, uh, so the one in Kalispell it appears to be getting a uh, station installed. Um, you'll notice there is not an interstate anywhere uh, close to that particular town. Uh, but it is on a road that connects, I believe, I-90 to uh, Glacier National Park. So it is well-traveled. It is a resting place uh, on that travel. So I think that Walmart will find many EVs uh, needing some recharging and electrons at this location. Next, let's go back to good old Florida. Oldsmar, Florida, Supercenter 2796 in the Tampa Bay region. This location is receiving four ABB A400 units. Uh, that ABB, again, this is happening in this permit. The ABB units are listed as uh, part of the materials for the project, but the Alpitronic Hypercharger install uh, package of graphics is at the bottom of this. So we'll have to confirm, but I think this is ABB. Um, you'll see that it is very close to the garden center and they are neatly lined in a row uh, with each station servicing two at a time. So uh, good progress again here in Tampa, but we're not done. Supercenter 1513 in Palm Harbor off of US 19 is also getting four ABB A400 units. The plans at this location do have the ABB A400 mentioned as being needed, but uh, the install instructions, once again, for Alpitronic are listed, so we'll have to watch it, but I suspect, again, ABB A400 units at this particular Tampa Bay area location. You also notice there it is a little bit further away from the building uh, on the garden center side. Uh, I think that that's just where Walmart feels like that's going to be best for this particular location. Some are closer, some are further, but either way, we know that they take into account the viability of the parking spot to be an EV charging location without attracting internal combustion engine vehicles. So uh, I have no doubt that that will be a great charging location. All right, now let's go to the West Coast at Supercenter 1554 in Stockton, California, just east of the Bay Area. It is located at 3223 East Hammer Lane, where it says they will provide electrical vehicle charging stations for the existing Walmart Supercenter at the location provided. It's about all the details that we have on this one. Uh, Stockton is somewhat along I-5, uh, but it also has uh, California 99 on its east side of town. This one is located closer to California 99 than it is I-5, so that tells me uh, I would suspect that Stockton will get another location maybe to service the I-5 corridor while this one services the other side of town. Uh, that seems to be a little bit of a theme uh, with these locations that where there is one, there are multiple, and I suspect that will happen in Stockton as well. Back to Texas, Supercenter 3057 in Elotes, Texas. You'll notice my graphics are a little bit different here. That's because these are pulled from a city council meeting where this charging location was approved for 12550 Leslie Road. Uh, it is going to use four Alpitronic hyperchargers servicing eight stalls total. And if you notice down at the bottom where it says EV charging area, the area just above it on that graphic, that's a Starbucks. So this location will have uh, the extra amenity of a Starbucks in close proximity to the Walmart Supercenter. This is located on the outer loop of the San Antonio metropolitan area. There are two other locations that we know about that are closer to SeaWorld, though, on this outer loop. And we'll finish up in Oklahoma, thanks to Leonard. Supercenter 151 is the Supercenter in McAllister, Oklahoma. Uh, we can go ahead and probably put this as 
uh, pending because of the conversation that Leonard had with the Dakota, Oklahoma contractor. We know that that is where his crew is headed next. So keep an eye out in McAllister if you can and share it uh, if you find anything in that area at the Walmart. All right, let's take a look at the data tables. They look like this now. They're getting bigger and bigger. This probably next update will be two slides uh, for those that we know are slated for construction thanks to permitting or bidding or spotting, whatever. Um, Again, you can see the impressive work that both Alejandro EV66 and Don at EV Texans has done to find these permits. Um, we are definitely grateful for their contributions to this project. We wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't function uh, at all. They would all be sleeper sites if it weren't for them. So uh, much, much appreciation to uh, Alejandro and Don. I also added in the charging hardware for the places that we know about. Ultimately, I think the Alpitron Hypercharger is winning, uh, but the ABB A400 has been adding several lately in Florida, but uh, so many locations that we don't know about, it's hard to say who the clear winner is right now, if there is a winner. I mean, we are the winner as EV drivers, but uh, it's an interesting dynamic to monitor the, the numbers. Uh, so by request, I went ahead and put that in there, and you can see the uh, advantage so far going to Alpitronic. And then these are the locations we know are under construction, still in the Metroplex. Um, several of these are just waiting on either a meter or final inspection, uh, but they should be open fairly soon. And then these are the open locations. I went ahead and added Chakota in there, even though it's not in the app. You see that that uh, box is not marked. I suspect it will be 42 cents per kilowatt hour. I can't uh, confirm that until it is open, which I suspect will be July 29th, but it could be a soft opening sooner. So just pay close attention if you're in Dakota, and uh, we will see what goes on there and look forward to the massive expansion that Leonard mentioned in Oklahoma. Fun times. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe uh, with this video if you haven't already. Again, I try to put these out every other week or so. Uh, and uh, be looking forward this Tuesday to the release of my one-year Blazer EV experience review. Would definitely love for you to check that out if the Blazer EV is something you are interested in. And there will be some life and uh, channel updates at the end of that as well. So until then, I'm Landon saying happy trails.